Good evening, faculty, staff, family, friends, and the class of 2023. And welcome to our annual Freshman Honors Assembly, virtually. I'm Deanne Carter, principal of Bishop McNamara High School. At this time, it is our pleasure to recognize these freshmen for their academic effort and excellence. We will do our best to pronounce every name correctly, but please forgive us if we make a mistake. We will get it right before graduation, don't worry. Before we begin, we would like to start off all things as we do here at Bishop McNamara High School in prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Father of light and wisdom, thank you for giving me a mind that can know and a heart that can love. Help me to keep learning every day of my life, no matter what the subject may be. Let me be convinced that all knowledge leads to you and let me know how to find you and love you in all things you have made. Encourage me when the studies are difficult. And when I am tempted to give up, enlighten me when my brain is slow. And help me to grasp the truth held out to me. Grant me the grace to put my knowledge to use in building the kingdom of God on earth. So that I may enter the kingdom of God in heaven. In your name we pray. Amen. St. Andre Brissett, pray for us. Blessed Father Moreau, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. To begin our honor roll with our honor roll students this evening, here is our ninth grade counselor, Ms. Tia Bell. The following awards are based on students' cumulative academic performance over the past three quarters. We will first recognize all those students who have achieved the distinction of Dean's List, each of these students have earned a cumulative grade point average of at least a 3.250 through the first three quarters. Kobe Bevins, Sydney Clark, Kaya Cook, Juan Gomez, Clifton Gilcrest, Nathan Rawls, Jaden Wilson. Congratulations, students. The English translation for the Latin phrase cum laude is with praise. Over the past three quarters, these students work merits recognition for being consistently above average. Each of these students has earned a cumulative grade point average of at least a 3.5 throughout the first three quarters of the school year. Michael Avery, Christiana Awase, Jake Bean, Christopher Chandler, Mackenzie Chase, Adrian Dash, Nyla Davis, Mackenzie Edwards, Lauren Frazier, Trevor Goldring, Ricky Green, Joshua Groves, Faith Harrison, Bryce Johnson, Addison Joseph, Chase Lawton, Kennedy Laurie, Beth Marine, Timothy Smith, Sebastian Solomon, Sydney Spriggs, Mia Watkins, Nadia Wynn. Congratulations, students. Next, we will recognize all those students who have achieved the distinction of magna cum laude. The English translation for the Latin phrase magna cum laude is with great praise. Over the past three quarters, these students work merits recognition for being consistently in the range of high honors. Each of these students has earned a cumulative grade point average of at least a 3.75 or above. China Bill, Yamadao Gay, Maya Ivory, Kayla Luna, Olivia Mass, Aisha May, Miriam Muali, Sierra Smith, Chinatso Umana, Lita Vines, Jalen James Worthen. Congratulations, students. Next, we will recognize all those students who have achieved the distinction of summa cum laude. 
The English translation for the Latin phrase summa cum laude is with highest honor. Over the past three quarters, these students' work merits recognition for their consistent, exceptional work earning out highest academic recognition. Each of these students have earned a cumulative grade point average of at least a 3.9. Owen Allegro, Micah Allen Shorter, Amara Altman, Haywan Amare, Kyla Emelshkin, Margaret Andrews, Rebecca Asiri, Alan Bautista, Kayla Boyett, Selena Carroll, Kyra Cho, Mackenzie Colbert, Sage Crawford, Bianca Franksha, Ava Garland, Jordan Gregory, Solea Harewood, Ariana Holder, Camille Jackson, Anaya Jones, Leonard Jones, Carly Lutz, Victoria Myers Williams, Chandler McCoy, Asia Mickens Perez, Alexandra Monell, Berlin Modreau, Benjamin Nolte, Matthew Nover, Arabella Paylor, Abigail Reynolds, Wallace Savoy, Lindsay Simons, Aaron Smith, Kamal Stoddard, Isabel Chopinski, Abigail Taylor, Simone Warren, Aiden Westcott, Gabrielle White, Nara Wiley, Serenity Williams, Sarah Zena. Congratulations, students. Next, we will move into the departmental awards portion of our program. For this, I would like to welcome Mr. Herman Gloucester, 9th and 10th grade Dean of Students. There are two distinctions students can earn in a department for an Outstanding Achievement and St. Andre Award. The Outstanding Achievement Award is given to a student in a course who led the class in academic excellence. These selected students have set the bar of achievement for their classmates and they exemplify excellence through their daily work. Our St. Andre Awards are a tribute to a special man from our Holy Cross tradition. St. Andre, or as he was known during his life, Brother Andre, took great care meeting and greeting people as a doorkeeper at the St. Joseph's Oratory in Quebec, Canada. We honor a few young people with this distinction of St. Andre's memory because those being recognized represented the same ideals that St. Andre represented. Kindness, compassion, determination, uncompromising principles, respect for others, prayer, hope, and charity. At this time, I would like to recognize those students receiving an Outstanding and St. Andre Award in the English Department. For English 9, the Outstanding Award goes to Carly Lutz. The St. Andre Award goes to Jalen Worthen. For Honors English 9, the Outstanding Award goes to Kayla Amelchkin, and the St. Andre Award goes to Ava Garland. Congratulations to all those who receive an English Department Award. At this time, we would like to recognize those students receiving an outstanding St. Andre Award in the St. Joseph's program. The outstanding award goes to Sierra Smith, and the St. Andre Award goes to Anthony Mamano. Congratulations to all those who received a St. Joseph's program award. At this time, we would like to recognize those students receiving an outstanding St. Andre Award in the Fine Arts Department. For Honors Concert Band, the St. Andre Award goes to China Beale. Symphonic Band, the Outstanding Award goes to Isabella Chopinski. Honors Symphonic Band, the Outstanding Award goes to Kayla Melchkin, and the St. Andre Award goes to Trevor Goldring. Honors Wind Ensemble, the St. Andre Award goes to Abigail Taylor and Joshua Groves. For String Orchestra, the St. Andre Award goes to Celia Harwood. Honors String Orchestra. The St. Andre Award goes to 
Arabella Pilar. For Jazz Ensemble, the award goes to Christina Owase. The St. Andre Award goes to Trevor Goldring. Percussion Ensemble, the St. Andre Award goes to Jacqueline Williams. For Concert Choir, the Outstanding Award goes to Abigail Reynolds, and the St. Andre Award goes to Amara Alton, Altman. Honors Chords, the Outstanding Award goes to Anaya Jones. For Chamber Choir, the St. Andre Award goes to Victoria Maris Williams. For Vocal Jazz Ensemble, the St. Andre Award goes to Janiah Nevitt. For Dance One, the St. Andre Award goes to Mariah Ledbetter. Also for Dance One, the St. Andre Award goes to Sydney Clark. For Dance Two, the Outstanding Award goes to Renee West, and the St. Andre Award goes to Sydney Spriggs. For Dance Three, the Outstanding Award goes to Selena Carroll, and the St. Andre Award goes to Faith Harrison. Also in Dance Three, the St. Andre Award goes to Ava Garland. For Dance Four, the St. Andre Award goes to Olivia Mass. For African Music and Dance One, the Outstanding Award goes to Aaron Smith. For Introduction to Theater, the St. Andre Award goes to Simone Warren. For Color, the Outstanding Award goes to Matthew Nover. And for Drawing, the Outstanding Award goes to Margaret Andrews. Congratulations to all those who received a Fine Art Department Award. At this time, we would like to recognize those students receiving an Outstanding and St. Andre Award in the Mathematics Department. For Algebra One for Outstanding is Carly Lutz. St. Andre is Leonard Jones and Kayla Bournette and Mia Watkins. For Algebra One Lab, for Outstanding, it's Anaya Jones. For St. Andre, it's Ari Martinez and Jake Bean. For Honors Algebra One, the Outstanding Award goes to Kiara Chu, and the St. Andre Award goes to Lauren Jackson and Camille Jackson. Also, for Honors Algebra Two, the Outstanding Award goes to Abigail Reynolds and Matthew Nover. The St. Andre Award goes to Kayla Amelchkin. Congratulations to all those who receive a Mathematics Department Award. At this time, we would like to recognize those students receiving an Outstanding and St. Andre Award in Modern and Classical Languages Department. For Spanish One, the Outstanding student is Selena Carroll, and the St. Andre Award goes to Jalen Worthen, Kiara Blair, and Camille Jackson. For French One, the Outstanding Award goes to Rebecca Siri. For Arabic One, the Outstanding student is Nadia Wynn. Congratulations to all those who received a Modern and Classical Languages Department Award. At this time, we would like to recognize those students receiving Outstanding and St. Andre Award in the Physical Education and Health Department. For Active for Life, the Outstanding Awards go to Kai Cook and Nyla Davis. The St. Andre Award goes to Luca Costa and Cameron Johnson. Congratulations to all those who received a Physical Education and Health Department Award. At this time, we would like to recognize those students receiving an Outstanding St. Andre Award in the Science Department. For Honors Biology, the Outstanding student is Kayla Melchkin. The St. Andre Award goes to Kiara Cho, Micah Allen Shorter, and Margaret Andrews. For Biology, the Outstanding Student is Carly Lutz. The St. Andre Award goes to Nyla Davis and Sage Crawford. In Astronomy, the Outstanding Student is Kennedy Lawson. And the St. Andre Awards go to Serenity Williams and Aaron Smith. Congratulations to all those who received a Science Department Award. At this time, we would like to recognize those students receiving an Outstanding and St. Andre Award in the Social Studies Department. For government and politics, it's Carlia Lutz and Solia Harwood will receive the St. Andre Award. Also receiving the St. Andre Award is Chinoso Umana, Gabrielle White, Sage Crawford, Simone Warren, and Michael Avery. For AP Government, the Outstanding Student goes to Chandler McCoy. The St. Andre Award goes to Abigail Taylor and Micah Allen Shorter. 
Congratulations to all those who received a Social Studies Department Award. At this time, we would like to recognize those students receiving an Outstanding and St. Andre Award in the Technology and Engineering Department. Computer Programming, the St. Andre Award goes to Bianca Francia. Congratulations to all those Technology and Engineering Department Award. At this time, we would like to recognize those students receiving an Outstanding and St. Andre Award in the Theology Department. For Theology 9, Outstanding student is Camille Jackson. The St. Andre Award goes to Alexandra Monell and Gabrielle White. Extraordinary service hours with 25 hours, Justin Asaitano. 25 hours, Mike and Micah Allen Shorter. 25 hours, Ariel Cole. With 27 hours, Richard Johnson. With 28 hours, Jake Bean. With 28 hours, Trevor Goldring with 28 hours, Jaden Johnson, with 28.5 hours, Matthew Legrell, with 28.5 hours, Mia Watkins, with 30 hours, Abigail Reynolds, with 31 hours, Jalen Worthen, with 32 hours, Camille Robinson, with 37.5 hours, Alan Batista, with 38 hours, Faith Harrison, with 38 hours, Benjamin Nolte, with 41 hours, Joshua Groves. With 41.5 hours, Sheldon Gordon. With 48 hours, Mariam Morley. With 60 hours, Kiara Cho. With 67 hours, Corey Smith. With 77 hours, Lauren Jackson. With 86 hours, Noah Wright. With 133 hours, Wallace Savoy. With 157 hours, Olivia Mass with 159 hours, Lindsey Simmons, and with 210 hours, Addison Joseph. Congratulations to all those who received a Theology Department Award. I would like to congratulate all those students who are honored here today for their academic effort and excellence. I would like to welcome Dr. Marco Clark, our president, for some closing remarks. Thank you. Good evening, Bishop McNamara family and friends. I want to take a moment to offer you my sincerest congratulations for these wonderful accomplishments that you've achieved in this 2019 and 2020 school year. Suffice to say, this has been a year like no other. Who would have ever imagined that when we departed our school campus on March 12th, that it would be the last time for this school year? I know I sure didn't. Since that time, our world has been turned upside down with now more than 100,000 American lives lost due to COVID-19, many right here in Prince George's County, the economy being hit hard due to social distancing, and with the stress and difficulty of the stay-at-home orders, which have required us to transition to distance learning, I can't recall a time in my life in which we collectively faced such adversity. As Christians and as Holy Cross men and women, however, we know that there is hope in the cross. The Latin phrase, Ave Crux Spezunica, the cross is our only hope, is the motto of the Congregation of Holy Cross. As a school sponsored by Holy Cross, we too hold firmly to the belief that the cross is our only hope. As life struggles and disappointments invariably come, some which will shake us to our very core, we may not always know why we're going through these difficulties, but God in his almighty goodness and love will reveal that to us someday, for his promise is one of life and abundance. The great Austrian psychoanalyst Viktor Frankl suggested that the last of the human freedoms is our ability to respond to suffering and to find meaning even in the hardest circumstances. He, a survivor of Auschwitz, asked even in those circumstances what life demanded of him. His answer, to live with hope cherish the memories of friends and loved ones, and to be a good person. The losses you feel right now are real, and it's okay to grieve them. Don't let anyone do the at least you dance. At least you got to go to school for two thirds of the year. At least you'll be able to come back next year, and so on and so on. Instead, hold your head up and say proudly, we did this together to care for the least in our community, the aged, the immunocompromised, the healthcare workers. 
We took one for the team, for the greater good of our nation and of our world. We sacrificed what we've always been used to for the protection of the most vulnerable. As you grow older, you will find that what you are doing now is a source of wisdom, which so often emerges out of struggle. Remember, it's not so much what happens to you that matters, but more importantly, how you respond that makes all the difference. You will also reach the point when you tell your children and grandchildren someday, that was a hard time, and it was even harder for some of us. But life demanded it of us. And as a generation, we rose to the challenge. And they will thank you for it. The struggle is also what makes this award ceremony and your recognition that much more meaningful tonight. I'm a big believer in something called self-efficacy. Self-efficacy, or your belief in your own abilities to deal with various situations, can play a role not only in how you feel about yourself, but whether or not you su successfully achieve your goals in life or not. When facing a challenge or adversity, do you feel like you can rise up and accomplish your goal, or do you give in to defeat? Are you like the famous little train engine from the classic children's book, I think I can, I think I can? Or do you doubt your own abilities to rise up and overcome the difficulties that life throws your way? According to psychologist Albert Bandura, self-efficacy is the belief in one's capabilities to organize and execute the courses of action required to manage prospective situations. In other words, self-efficacy is a person's belief in his or her ability to succeed in any situation. Our belief in our own ability to succeed plays a role in how we think, how we act, and how we feel about our place in the world. Self-efficacy also determines what goals we choose to pursue, how to go about accomplishing those goals, and how we reflect upon our own performance. As you sit here today watching this video with one, two, or three years remaining in high school still in front of you, Bishop McNamara students, I hope you dream big. This experience that you've had these past two months are likely some of the most difficult times you will ever encounter in your life. But guess what? You did it. You achieved. You overcame. You've grown in self-efficacy, and now we are here celebrating the end of the school year and your academic and leadership accomplishments. I promise you this. Things will get better. We will return to school as normal. Perhaps it'll be a new normal. But know this, you've got this. Fortunately, self-efficacy is a psychological skill that you can foster and strengthen. Start by celebrating your successes like those today and by observing others and their approach to difficulties. One of the greatest examples of this is your principal, Mrs. Carter. Through this adversity, she could have easily hung her head and felt sorry for herself as our first year principal. Rather, she didn't let the fear of the unknown stop her. I've heard it said before that FEAR, F-E-A-R, is an acronym for false evidence appearing real. And that's true. But I like this even better. Face everything and rise. Mrs. Carter and this amazing faculty and staff have faced this crisis and risen to the occasion. And so have you. What a wonderful example for all of us of what true strength of character, faith in God, resilience, and strong self-efficacy is all about. Thank you, Mrs. Carter. Finally, and I close with this, two Sundays ago we celebrated the Feast of the Ascension of our Lord. This feast day in the church celebrates the day that Jesus ascended into heaven, was seated at the right hand of the Father, and in his place he sent the Holy Spirit to be with us always. Jesus' life, death, and resurrection gave rise to Christianity, which is sustained now for more than 2,000 years. During those 2,000 years, there have certainly been many difficulties in the world, and we see countless examples of how, despite these challenges, Jesus always prevails, and he never disappoints. Just as Jesus rose to the right hand of the Father, so too will all of us rise again. Soon, we will be back in school, on the playing fields, eating lunch with one another in the Mona Center, singing, dancing, and playing on stage. Soon we will resume things as normal. And although it may be a new normal, 
you get a chance to create it. How will you respond to the crisis of 2020? I'm convinced that you will face everything and rise. Hold on to hope, Bishop McNamara. Cherish the memory of your friends and loved ones, and don't let a moment go by without being present to them and letting them know that you love them. Be a good person and always remember Jesus' promise of life with abundance. I can't wait to see what you'll do in the years ahead. As we just celebrated our graduating class of 2020, a class who amassed more than $19 million in scholarships and grants to 207 of the finest colleges and universities in the nation, 99% of who will be pursuing higher education. I just can't help but believe that the best is yet to come. You've got this, Bishop McNamara. I know you'll continue to rise to the occasion. I love you, and I'm so proud of you. Congratulations.